Welcome to Eli Works. Thanks for following along. We're working on our MP CNC a little bit more today. We're going to start bolting the actual CNC parts to the table we made and see if we can get it squared up. In future videos, we'll start wiring it. It'd be good to note that when I assembled this Z-axis, I forgot to put four of the bearings in. Got a little distracted when stuff didn't fit. Anyway, they're pretty simple. Four bearings. Four bolts. Four nuts. Bolt, bearing. Spacer. There's a chamfer on these. Make sure it lines up the chamfer on the axis. What we were just doing is checking to make sure everything's square. And if it's not a square, you adjust these clamps here. But mine's good enough. I think I'm going to leave it alone for what I'm doing. On the V1 website, they tell you exactly like if you move this bolt, I think it moves it away. Or if you move this bolt, it moves that one away. But it's all detailed there if you need to adjust yours. Now I've read that people have a terrible time getting these in that slot and pushed down into a hex that's in there. That way it'll be captured. Hopefully we have better luck than those people. It's 
stick a punch in there, I think it might keep it from cocking. I need a smaller screwdriver. Might need a bigger screwdriver. This screwdriver is just right. I was thinking I had to pull it down in there further, but let's see if I can focus on this thing. That's all the further it goes in. So don't break it trying to get it in there further. It just pops right in. There's all four of the belt guide things. I have to put those on next. So this is where we shove the belt in. This one's actually going to be oriented like this. Take your belt. It's going to get folded over on itself. And crammed in that loop and that slot. Anyway, I'm going to struggle with this for a while. You go get a beer or something. It's almost like the slot is not deep enough for this belt. But it has to fit all the way in there, otherwise it doesn't work. Printing up four more. I think you'll save yourself a lot of time if you check your print quality instead of doing a bunch of sanding like I did earlier. Can't use these, the grooves are too shallow. So I spent six hours and printed up four new ones. I should have spent a lot more time setting up my printer than I did printing parts, I guess. Now they get the basics of how all that goes together. These plastic holders should be flush with the face of these corners. So I'll have to lengthen my belt out a little bit over here. But that won't take very long. I'm not going to bore you on camera with that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope to see you back here again.